so I can't get this box in it's too big at the top good morning y'all welcome back i am getting ready to work a little bit more on the closet it is i don't know what part we're on for y'all but anyway we're getting ready to work some more on the closet i have let me show you where we, i left off so this is where i left off i have the cubbies in and then this half of the closet is just basically done so right now I have some wood pieces cut out and I'm about to extend my shoe shelves over here. So this area is going to be my shoe storage and I'm just going to extend it out to about here. To about there so I can have an optimal amount of shoe storage because at first I didn't have any at all. So me putting it out to right there is going to help me a ton with my shoe space. Y'all, I just need to show y'all up close of this shoe wall. It's fire. It looks so good. Okay. So the goal was to have like a shoe corner basically. And I knew I didn't have like a space that I could just have like a straight shelf across. But um, here's what it looks like. Let me back y'all up a bit. So it's like a corner and I just screwed these together with pocket holes. Um, you'll see under here like that's pocket holes in there look at it Ooh. hey y'all so I'm getting ready to go outside and build my side right here my dresser and my other shelves today's goal is to build the drawers it's quite cold outside in the garage so I'm only going to be working for about half the morning while the daylight is the sun is out it's like 40 degrees it may not be cold to some but it's cold to me so i'm only going to be out there i'm going to cut the wood down and then build my drawer boxes tomorrow i'm going to go outside build the frame and um drawer fronts and shelves
okay guys i'm getting ready to um put on my drawer slides right here i did have to add another piece this is um a piece of the plywood i cut down to about two inches because i need something for my drawer slides to sit on because i am going to be putting a one and a half inch piece of um <coughs> a one by two on there on the front as like the trim so that's why i need to bring this out so my drawer slides would fit properly So I can't get this box in. It's too big at the top. Um, I'm not sure because all the measurements are the same. So I'm thinking the shoe wall maybe is slightly too long. So some adjustments need to be made. I'm gonna see. My sister's about to help me try to like squeeze it in there. But if we can't, I'm gonna have to go make some cuts. So. frustrating so it gets down at the bottom it's just right there at the top okay let me see let me put this ladder on I got it, y'all. <laughs> okay. What'd you do? I think I got it. Okay. One, two, three. y'all i'm gonna go ahead and put these two shelves back in there um and then i'm gonna be done for today i am tired all right y'all i'm getting ready to install my drawer front i went ahead and cut some wood down yesterday i have it right here just some like nine inch by 20 two and one fourth i believe and i'm about to go ahead and put my drawer size on i took all the other drawers out and have only the bottom one in there if y'all can see that um i only have the bottom drawer in there because i 
need to have access to be able to screw in from the inside of the drawer so um, i'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up to the top and just make sure that they're all equally distance the same distance and then um go from there So this is the closet. Um, it looks so good in here. I have all the drawers finished. I have all the shelving done. And now it's time to paint. I have a paint sprayer here. I um, It's the, actually the Graco, I think it's the X5. The Graco X5. Boop. And I'm going to use that. I've only used it one time before um, in the last closet that I've done. And figure out how to use it again the first time I used it I feel like I had some issues so what I'm gonna do is try to go ahead and set it up and figure out how to use it I am gonna be using just a regular primer I use the kills purpose all-purpose 2 and I'm just gonna prank this whole closet I'm painting I chose that paint as my finish I like stains but I don't want to stain this whole closet and I'm not really looking for a stain as my finish, so paint is the way that I'm gonna go. Um, but other than that, the last few things that we have to do on the list is paint, well, prime, paint, install the carpet. Never installed carpet before, but we gonna figure it out. And install the trim on the floors, and then add in the hardware, so like the, um, the rods and the drawer pulls I've already gotten those so after that I'm done and I'm gonna hit and like install everything
Okay, y'all. So, I'm getting ready to put on my drawer um, handles and hardware, all of my hardware in the closet. This is the final step, and then I'm going to install some baseboards. I bought this little tool off of Amazon, and it just gives me the exact measurements. So, I can just drill the holes and then go ahead and attach them with the screws that I need. Um, this is the easiest way, the easiest method that I can find to get a consistent drawer. Um, make sure that my drawer sides are in the middle and lined up perfectly. Um, I will link it in my description box. So if you're looking or interested in it, go ahead and just check the description box and it'll be there. It was about $14, $15. And so far, so good. I tested one up at the top drawer. And it even came with um, some of the little drills. These are drill bits. Drill bits. So let me show y'all how it works. I've already set my measurements to make sure that it's in the middle of the drawer and that it's centered. And then I'm just going to hold this down, drill in through the hole, and then drill the other one. And there we go. And here are the final results, y'all. This is how the closet turned out. And I am in love with this. I know I say it every time I finish a project, but I truly am. It makes my closet feel so luxurious. And I'm just so excited. This is what it looked like with all of my clothes back in there. It feels way more organized than it did before. But that's all for today, guys. Thanks you so much for being patient with me and follow along with this project. I'll see you all in my next video. Give it a huge thumbs up. Drop your comments on what your favorite part was. Bye.